Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review, this time of the Tron Legacy Deluxe San Flynn Light Cycle. Before I get on with the review, I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. It's been, it was a great, uh, 2010 was great, um, for you, for my life and for actually my YouTube life as well. Got a lot of subscribers, met a lot of cool people on here, and I'm very grateful for everybody who made this year really nice. And I, uh, I hope and I pray that 2011 will be just as great. So, uh, with that being said, let's set the light cycle to the side and take a real quick look at the packaging. You get the, tr this is, um, this packaging is not on any packaging, uh, as far as I know, other than this and the Clue Light Cycle. Um, Clue Light Cycle, which I'm still looking for. Uh, but it says Tron Legacy up on the side. Down here you got a picture of, uh, actually that's a movie still, it's not of the toy. Um, Login Deluxe Sample and Light Cycle, uh, functioning ear brakes, you know little things look actually if you look in there and you can't i don't know a lot of people have been trying to make this out you're probably not going to be able to see that but uh there's a little picture of like there you can't you can kind of see like the light cycle it's like a little 3d picture of its features and stuff uh it's got same basic deal on the sides of it on the back you got a picture of uh the the actually the kevin flynn figure uh that single carded on there um description and then uh, some other figures in the wave very nice so let's move that and bring uh, Kevin and his, or Sam and his bike right here um, this is a very nice toy just gonna say that right now uh, one of the best things I've got for Christmas just a really great uh, toy display piece figure vehicle however you're gonna use it it is great um, I did see Tron Legacy um, twice, actually. Uh, if you haven't seen it, and you just like shut your computer down and just go to the movies and watch it because it is an amazing movie. Um, anyways, this is very accurate to how it was portrayed in the movie, um, like to the T. I mean, there's nothing really inaccurate about it, to be honest. Um, Detail-wise, as you can see, the the figure that the vehicle comes with looks very nice on it. Um, as you can see, because it's molded to to be part of basically part of the the uh, the vehicle itself, um, everything just looks great. As you can see, the uh, light patterns, the tires, I love because it's mold. It's uh, rubber tires. It's not like the little you know plastic tires on the bottom. And this isn't molded. This is a real rubber tire, and it looks really cool up on the front. How it's like molded to where you can see it when it rolls. Uh, you get the same deal on the back, and you can actually see it through the translucent plastic. Um, you got the the whole light pattern going throughout the the vehicle itself. Um, it just looks, I mean, it just looks great. If you if you look at it from the front, like this, and then take a look at that poster right there. I mean, it's to the T. I can't, I can go on and on about the detail on this because it really is nice. Um, before we get on to the, the the vehicle's features, I figure I'll take the Sam Flynn uh, figure off of the bike real quick. Because I kind of need to do that to show off a certain feature in it. Um, I don't know if my camera's going to knock over, but this is this these things uh, can be pretty tough to get out of there. Yeah, and there it goes. I told you guys it was going to knock down. I got to get a stand for this uh, flip. Anyways, yeah, these uh, these can be hard to pull out, but it's an it's an basically a non posable figure molded to to, to you know fit in a in the cycle no light features or anything obviously um i like the helmet on it actually it, it's better than the regular single carded sam flynn figure which i don't have um and yeah it looks pretty cool the only articulation you get is a ball jointed head which actually on the instructions says to take off and put on a head of a single carded figure if you want like say rinsler or somebody to ride this and then uh the arms can rotate all the way around other than that you don't really get much articulation with this guy now, uh, going on to the toy itself, actually, uh, let's, let's stick Sam, and by the way, any single carded figure will fit in this, um, I have Clue and Rinsler, and I just don't feel like getting them up, getting up and getting them out, but, um, they do fit in here really nicely, and they look great, um, but it's kind of pointless to have either of those riding it, because, um, they had a yellow, uh, light, cycle, uh, yellow light cycle, uh, in the movie, anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, anyways, so as features go, which is everybody's probably main attraction to this toy, um, oh, and by the way, it rolls, 
forgot to mention it rolls really nicely. Anyways, uh, the main feature, uh, you got three modes. You got off, which I'm in right now. You got try me, which I just went to, and then you got on. So let's uh, let's check out try me. So this is how the figure comes packaged. Um, oh, and by the way, if you roll when you roll the figure, the fr if you're able to run the front, roll the front tire. The uh, let's show off the mechan. The, I guess the mechanical uh, features first. The s s engine inside will spin, and the engine looks really nice. Um, and then in back here, you've got of course got the deployable air brakes, which you just fold, and they look they look really cool. Um, I'm probably gonna actually have the figure displayed with this open because I really like how it looks. But anyways, so we're in try me mode right now. All you simply do is press a button, and you're gonna get some some lights and sounds just some it's just random sounds and blinking lights however something that's very cool is uh when you go to on and this only does it if there's a figure in the uh the seat the engine revs up which is amazing it looks really cool um however when you're in on when you're in the on mode, none of the features um, are going to work unless you have a figure in there, which is very cool because there's a little trigger in back here that hits the, the crotch of the figure. And it, it won't light up or make any sounds unless you have that figure in there, um, uh, as opposed to just pressing them, unless you just press the button. So, of course, the engine revs up. Another cool feature when you're in on is when you roll the, the toy, it makes engine sounds and it lights up, which is also really cool. So, as long as you're rolling it, it'll keep making sounds, as you can see, and then when you stop, the engine will kill, which is just a, an amazing feature. This is a very interactive toy. Um, and then also when you press the button, if you just press it, it's like it tries to start up, but it won't. However, when you hold it, you're going to get a long period of light and sound. Which looks really neat, as you can see, but it stays on for a while. So while this is lighting up, let's take a look of it with it with the lights off. And as you can see, it looks the toy looks really neat with the lights off. This is the first toy uh, I've had at least that has LED lights built into it, and the lights look great. They just look, I mean, awesome. Uh, this is a part of what makes it such a great display piece. And uh, as you can see, this, it lights up really nicely. Um, let's turn that back on for a second. And uh, as you can, see, you can see the engine in there. Lights up in the engine department, or er, compartment. Lights up on the side of the, the vehicle and lights up on the tires. Uh, I would have liked if they were able to transfer some more light into the uh, where the light trail would be coming off of, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So... Uh, that's not a big deal. Let's turn the light back on. So as you can see, uh, Sam Flynn's light cycle, the toy, is an amazing pickup. If you're a Tron fan or a toy fan in general, I definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, it's going to cost you, uh, it was $20 on release. Now I believe it's $15, which is not a bad price at all, by any means. Um, so if you're interested in any of these Tron figures, this is definitely one to pick up. If you're only going to pick up one Tron toy, I'd recommend uh, either this or Clue's Light Cycle, whichever you prefer. Uh, Clue's Light Cycle is the same basic kind of thing with some minor differences. But um, overall, an amazing toy. Can't recommend it enough. Um, go check out Tron Legacy if you haven't already because this is a great movie. Um, and before I go, I want to give a shout-out to a, a guy that I, I met yesterday actually on YouTube. His name is End of Line Reviews. Um, he just started out. It looks like he only has two subscribers. Um, he makes really nice Tron Legacy uh, reviews, exclusively Tron Legacy from what I've seen. And they're really nice and informative. Uh, you're going to get a really nice all-around review if you check this guy out. So please uh, go check out End of Line Reviews. I'll have his link uh, in the underbar. And uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Go pick up this toy. And this is Eddie signing out.